part that we will be looking at for GDNT tarring since is the fully assembled door hinge. The underlying constructs of the door hinge is that both hinges must interlock together to form a straight cylindrical hole for the pin to go through. For instance, changing the pitch or yaw of either hinge by a few degrees makes the interlocking pieces of the two hinges unable to connect and blocks the path of the pin. First, let's take a look at the left hinge. For datum A, the flatness symbol requires every point on the considered surface to lie within a slab-like tolerance zone of thickness 2 microns with no external constraints, which was used to help constrain datum B and the true position of the interlocking pinholes. For datum B, perpendicularity symbol requires all points on the planar surface to be within a cylindrical tolerance zone of diameter 4 microns at maximum material condition, which is oriented by basic angles relative to a DRF established using datum feature A. This helps constrain the pitch and yaw of interlocking parts. Also, when looking at the basic dimensions above the datum, one can understand that the dimensions apply for two identical parts. For the pinholes, the position symbol requires the bounded axis of the considered feature to lie within a cylindrical tolerance zone of diameter 20 microns at maximum material condition, which is oriented and located by basic dimensions relative to a DRF established using data features A and B. Now let's take a look at the right hinge. The right hinge's geometric dimensioning and tolerancing is similar to the left hinge with one of the differences being an addition of another count of the feature described in datum B. Another addition is the true position of interlocking parts where it requires the bounded midplane of the considered feature to lie within a slab-like tolerance zone of width 20 microns at maximum material condition. It is oriented and located by basic dimensions relative to a datum reference feature established using datum features A and B. These geometric differences are because the two features on the left hinge need to interlock with the three on the right hinge to allow the pin to go through the cylindrical hole made from connecting the two. Lastly, some defects that can occur without following the GD&T is having the interlocking features of the hinges be off a few degrees in yaw or pitch, which makes the features unable to interlock correctly and blocks the path of the pins to lock both hinges together.